Okay, so how do I feel about Star Wars? Well, I saw Star Wars Episode 4 when it came out. Okay, I was a kid and saw Star Wars Episode 4 and loved it. And of course, was right there through 5 and 6. And, and those are still near and dear to my heart. I am okay with 1, 2, and 3. They kind of lost me after Disney took over the franchise and and did horrible Disney things to it. Well, let me retract that because I don't want to make anybody mad who likes the new Disney stuff, okay? If that's your bag, that's your bag, okay? It's not my bag, okay? I don't like it. It doesn't mean it's horrible. It just means I don't like it, all right? Um. But I love Star Wars. It makes me want to go downstairs right now just talking about it. I want to go down and put on episode four. So uh, I have something I never really kind of had on my radar here today. Uh, I saw it. I learned about it. And I said, I think I need that. So let's take a look when we come back. Don't go away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, normally when I have a box larger like this, I'll go downstairs and I'll film on my little table, okay? You've, you've seen that a million times. I'm going to try and squeeze it in here and hope that it's not a mistake. If I don't like the footage, I'll, I'll splice them in uh, of taking a look at this downstairs. But I think we can do it. I think we can make it. Okay, you, me, together, we can do it. You can win. Win. Okay, so anyhow, uh, like I was saying, I love Star Wars. I, that whole little area over in my room here, I have uh, movie poster thingies from the first uh, four, five, and six. I've got a little uh, Millennium Falcon thing that I made. Uh, what else do I have over there? Um, I got I have a bunch of the Lego kits. I've got the that big Lego R two D two. You know I want the Millennium Falcon so stinking bad. If I ever get it, I'll do a a, a video build of it for you guys. Um, but I saw this. I didn't even know this existed, and I said I gotta have it. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we have. Uh, I don't know if you can see my, see my face, but I'm sure you can hear my voice. There are companies that make all the different helmets, like Boba Fett and, and Stormtroopers and, and Darth Vader and stuff. They make really beautiful collectibles. And um, they're very expensive. Hasbro decided, well, look. Sorry about that. That footage. Hasbro came out and positioned themselves in a spot between toy and collectible to give us the black series that you see here. This is Darth Vader's helmet. From the Star Wars Black Series. Here you can see the box, right? I don't know how well you can see. Uh, the artwork on it is spectacular. Um, it's like you could take it and frame it and, and have like a... That's, that's how beautiful the artwork is. Really, really nice. This is what I'm talking about packaging, okay? It is well packaged, even though it's gotten some damage to it. It's well packaged. Novel, the way they cut this corner off. The artwork on it is phenomenal. Sturdy, so that I doubt that this damaged my helmet in any way, shape, or form. Tells the story. It's just gorgeous. 
And you can actually wear it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. We'll try. But maybe. Um, I have a, a pretty ginormous head, so I don't know. But anyhow, so I saw this. And I was like, I got to have this. I got to get this. So here is the Star Wars Darth Vader's Helmet Black Series. And what, what did I mean by Hasbro position themselves between toy and collectible? Well, they it, it would be a fairly expensive toy or a fairly cheap collectible. I'm sure the the full movie replica collectibles out there are probably uh, much more detailed and, and higher quality and have a better feel to them. Uh, okay, but they come with a, a price tag in excess of $300. This was uh, substantially less than that. And, and I'm one of these guys who, uh, I hope you can hear this. I'm one of these guys who, because I keep blocking my, my, this box gets in between me and the microphone, so I hope you can hear this. Um, I'm one of these guys who, who's going to know the difference? I built a six-foot-tall Saturn V model rocket. It's beautiful. I put on my own details in the stages because when you took the stages apart, it looked modely. So I put a bunch of little greebles and stuff. The greeb little detail pieces that have no meaning, they're called greebles. So lots of little greebles in there and stuff to, to make it look cool. And if you worked on assembling Saturn V rockets and came and looked at it, you'd go, what the hell is that? But 99.9% .9 of the 100% of the people who are going to see my model are never going to know the difference. They're going to go, that's pretty cool. And that's how I am about this. Nobody has ever met Darth Vader, okay? So any anomalies in this, I think, are going to be fine. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up. book. Uh, a lot of times I criticize these books as a waste of time. Maybe not today. This is a complicated box. All right, there it is. Uh, okay, this is the top of the helmet. You have to put it Here is the face part of the helmet. Wow. Wow. Okay. Here is. Is this in this box? Or is this just a. It's just a packing thing, packing thing. Okay. So that's the whole helmet. Put it all out. I'm excited. Our neighbors are really big on Star Wars, so when I saw this, I, I sent them some info on it. I want to see this thing. Okay, now we should be able to see it much better together. Okay. So, right off the bat, I do have a, a, a little bit of a problem with it. Now, I, I'll tell you what it is. It's gray. Why is it gray? Where, where in the Star Wars univ universe does Darth Vader wear a gray helmet? And I don't watch all the current Disney stuff because I, I don't like it. But 
in in the first four episodes, one, two, three, four, uh, first six episodes, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, um, Although you know Darth Vader dies, every every movie his helmet's been just black. When did Gray happen? He he was dead. Did he come back to life and start wearing a gray helmet? I don't know why it's gray. I guess I could paint it if I wanted to, but why is it gray? Put in the comments down below why this helmet is gray. I'm sure it must be something to do. Uh, some part of Disney's doing. It's like gray and black. Okay, so like... Let me show you right here. Can you, can you see this? It's black here. Then gray here. I, I don't understand the coloring. It's stinking cool looking though. Look, it's got all the little greebles on it. Is this, this is some kind of a... Oh, this might be a, a table stand or something. Maybe to help, help it sit on the table or something. I, you know, maybe it goes... Like so. Yeah, I bet that's it. I bet, I bet that's what that is, but we'll, we'll, I don't know, I could be wrong. Okay, it's really stinking cool. Can, can you see that? Now, from what I understand, it is electronic, and it makes noises and stuff. It's magnetic, so the helmet sits up on top of it. What's, uh, this is pretty cool. So, you know, I was worried about the audio on the first part. This is, oh my gosh. <gasps> wow, now this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful, beautiful, high gloss, beautiful black. I will not be touching the surface of that. I'm going to have to get some of my gloves out. Oh, that is beautiful. Ow. Okay, see that? That's exactly what this is. It's to prop up the back end. So that... Uh... I'm going to get more gloves out. I only got the one in the drawer. Um, so that the helmet will sit down on the, the face part properly. Okay? It doesn't. There. Okay. Clicked in. <gasps> okay. So uh, I'll tell you something here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to try and pick it up for you. Once you get the helmet on, you know, the gray works. It, re it really works. It, it doesn't really... It acts almost like highlights. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Got a good weight to it. Oh, man. And, yeah, I'm sure. I'm positive. That, oh. This some kind of face stand. No, can't. I can't make that work. Okay, at least not like this. I'm gonna have to do this separately. Okay. Oh my gosh, my neighbors are gonna plot when they see this. Really great detail. Look. Maybe you need in your life the fancy, really expensive, movie-accurate one. This is plenty for me. And I'll tell you something. It has me so excited that I'm pretty positive that I'm going to be ordering 
a stormtrooper helmet. Okay, so these directions are really hard to see and read. It does take some batteries, two triple A's. You need a screwdriver to put them in. Then you put the collar on, then you click on the face, and then you put the helmet down. These instructions are horrible. I know I get what they're trying to do, but they're horrible. They're almost unintelligible. Okay. So look. Oh my gosh. I gotta try and put it on, right? I have to try that. It's a moral imperative. So what I'm gonna try and do. Try to get the magnets to release there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm afraid to break it. It it's magnetic, I, and I guess you just have to man up and take it apart. <gasps> it's, can you see all the detail inside of it? Oh my goodness! Yeah, it just it just got wow, wow. Oh my goodness. It is loaded with interior detail. I don't know if this will fit on me, okay? I, I just don't. I don't think that'll even fit around my neck. But it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be wearing it ever. Re look at these horrible, horrible instructions. The instructions are terrible, guys. Oh, it's like little snaps. Okay. All right, we're going to find out right here. We're going to find out if it'll fit because it will either go around my neck or it won't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm actually a little afraid. Okay, it's on. Oh, this, this is freaky. Oh my gosh. I don't know how good it's sealed, but it's on.
There, it's on. I think it's on. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so weird. Luke. <laughs> of course, you know I gotta say it. Luke, I am your father. Wow, it's a tight, tight fit, and I don't know if I how how well it looks. Okay, because I can't see, but it's on and it's choking the crap out of me. What do you think? I can see really well through it. It's so cool. It's really cool and uh, super, super tight. Oh, but it can be worn. If my big fat head can get into this thing, anybody's can. It's actually, I, I, I'll be honest, it's not that uncomfortable. Um, I think it's a little freaky, though. And you kind of worry a little bit that maybe I could be able to get out of this thing. Um, you got the little, the voice thingies and all the details inside here. This is so stinking cool. That's just all there is to it. It's just cool. See, when you have it lined up better, it just clicks right together. Okay, no problems whatsoever. And then you can take, so let's figure this thing out. Does it show it anywhere in here? It, it does, but you can't see what's going on. It looks like it goes like this behind it. And the brim of his noggin. Goes on after. So, set it on. And you gotta kind of. I guess. Lean it forward. And find the magnets. There we go. Okay. We're on. And then on. And then this sits here like so. You hold it in a display position. Okay. Uh I have quickly forgotten all about the fact that a lot of it's gray. In fact, I think it's almost better that way. I wish they'd gone one way or the other instead of, you know, maybe make both of these black, make both of these gray. I, I don't know. I don't know why it stopped and changed colors here, but it definitely had some visual interest to it. You know it's Darth Vader's helmet. There's no doubting that. It's stinking beautiful. The, the lenses of the eyes are red, but they're so dark, they, they look black. You, you can't tell. And I, I, I just, uh, I think it's fantastic. I love it. Um, I'm going to put what I paid for it down here on, and where I got it from, because I don't remember where I got it from. Uh, I was surprised that they still had them, but they did. And, uh Yeah. There it is. There's my uh, Hasbro Black Series Darth Vader helmet. I'm crazy in love with it. Now, I know people in the aftermarket are making wall brackets that kind of go up underneath it and hold it. Uh, that would be fantastic. It should have been in the box, if you ask me. It would be kind of neat if 
not only did it make sounds, I guess when you click the, the collar together and do different things, it makes different sounds. But it would be neat if there was actually a little bit of light inside of the face piece. That would be neat. But overall, this is one of the coolest movie collectible things I've ever had. It is amazing. I love this thing. And yeah, I am absolutely ordering a Stormtrooper. Um, yeah, it's just fantastic. And the sheen on this is beautiful. Now look, if, if you're one of those guys who needs everything to be just perfect, okay, more power to you. Order the three four hundred dollar um, movie ready version of this helmet. But for me, this is just amazing. I don't need any more than this. This is the coolest thing. I, I okay. Look, I've told you that my my Batman switch here. I've told you that this is. One of my all-time favorite possessions, this is right up there, okay? If, if, if I were going to make a top 10 list of collectibles, fun things, whatever, this is right in the mix, and I'd have to really seriously think about where it places in the top 10, but I know for a fact it is a top 10 item. Anyhow, I love this thing, and I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss one of my Star Wars videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope the rest of your day is super stellar and wonderful. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying, be good. So cool. So cool.